sometimes you need to have uh, just dummy images. So if you're prototyping a layout or something and you just need an image to stand in place until you get the real thing. And Faker can also help you with that. So let's take a look. Help fake image URL. Now what this will return is it will return a string. And that string will be a URL to a placeholder image service such as this one here, placehold it. And then there are also uh, several others out there. So if I call fake.imageURL, you'll see it gives me a URL. And if I visit that URL, it's a picture of a kitten in the snow. And if I were to call this again, it's giving me one this time from dummy image. Open that one. And this time it's just a more generic placeholder. Now if we look at the help for image URL, we can see that you can provide it with a width and a height. So I could fake.image URL, I have to have the underscore, width, come on, equals, we'll say 250 and the height uh, 250. And we get something that's going to be exactly 250 by 250. Okay. Um, now, of course, we want a way to be able to persist these. So let's take a look real quick at a, another method called fake.word. And this simply returns a word every time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to generate a file name. It's not going to be, it's not to say what's in the photo, but it'll be something that we can use to uniquely identify each one. All right, so I'm going to need another library for this. And I'm going to call it requests. I'm not going to call it requests. It's already called requests. And this makes uh, HTTP requests very very easy as it says here python http for humans so i'll install this it'll take a few seconds to finish up okay great and then i'll import requests now what i need to do is i need to get a url for that i'll say fake oops image url I'm not going to worry about the width and the height right now. And then I will make a request that will return a response. S for the response equals requests.get that particular URL. And then I'll open up a new file. And the file will use fake.word for the file name. .png will write binary and simply f.write s.content. Okay. Now if we go over here to my files, when I run this, we should see a new file name, and this one's called point. It's a picture of a cat, but... And then there's another cat. And something that I'm not quite sure what it is. However, this is a really easy way that you can get placeholder images to use for prototyping or just to have dummy data to use.